Well, tomorrow is a big day for three local entrepreneurs. They're pitching their clothing idea to the CBC's Dragon's Den. Now, the idea is certainly original and different. And as Teresa Lalonde reports that, the team is hoping that works in their favor. Three friends on a comfy couch wearing comfy sweatshirts. Really, really long sweatshirts. They're called thuggies. Soft like a snuggie, but marketed as tough hooded streetwear. Taking a little poke at the snuggie and also um, at people that think they're gangster. Even babies can wear them. You may think that's ridiculous, but that's the point. It started as a joke. Two years ago, Brian noticed skiers at Whistler were wearing long hoodies. He decided to sew up four of the longest hoodies to poke fun at those skiers. But we got our response was like super positive on the hill. Skiers would stop me and be like, yo, where'd you get your hoodie? Later, Brian bumped into Kim while wearing the thuggy. My girlfriend was like, those are ridiculous. And I was like, those are awesome, because I thought they'd be perfect for cabins, and I have a general disdain for pants. Kim loved the idea so much, she offered to market it. Then another pal brought business smarts. I was like, OK, I think we can do some, make some money here. They are making money, so far a profit of $20,000. Skiers are their biggest clients, and rowing teams and wakeboarders are buying them too. Now they want Dragon Investment to grow the business. Can they take the heat? But you guys started this as a joke. How can I take this seriously? You guys are a joke. <laughs> Crab, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, don't cry. We're not a joke. It started as a joke, but some of the best ideas start out by accident. I mean, if I walk in the public and I see this, and if somebody else sees me walking in the public, they're going to stop and they're going to look. They do wear them out all the time, even to a power strategy lunch, preparing for the Dragons. Their pitch is being taped Monday in Toronto. It might never make it to air, but they say any exposure they can get is a good thing. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.